Hello and welcome to Seoul for the third part of my Magic Square series. So, in this um, third part, we're going to um, learn how to create some 4K order Magic Square. Whew. First, what does that supposed to mean? Well, it's very easy if uh, you have a square that uh, the number of rows and uh, number of columns is a multiple of 4, like 4, 8, 12, 16, etc. Well, that's what I mean here. Why do we write this like that? Because we will need to know, to know uh, k, which means that if you have a 4x4, four four, you have to know that k is 1, 8x8, uh, eight eight, you have to know that k is 2, etc, etc. That's it. And that's the only uh, thing for which we need to know k and write it like this. So multiple of 4. Multiple of four. The method I'm going to show you is uh, from the 11th century. It's been um, known in it's an Arab method, and unfortunately, it's anonymous, so we don't know who uh, found this uh, method. It's been published in a little booklet that was anonymous, so we don't know who's the great uh, mind behind this. It might have been known uh, several centuries before the 11th century uh, AD. But still, let's do this. So to start uh, this method, very easy. We start with a four by four uh, square. And here's the technique. You know uh, that K is one. You have to know that. So here, not problem, four by four, it's four times one. So K is one. We keep this in mind. And we will consider the top left quarter top left quarter over there and we'll work with it the idea is to put some red, red square in the top left quarter so as to each line its column has k red squares here of course k being one we need to have one red square on each line and one red square on each column of this quarter for instance you can do this pattern, like this. Nothing really, or maybe that one. And actually for the uh, four by four square, we don't have much choice. We have this or that, so it doesn't really matter. So let's take this one. And then from this, you're going to mirror vertically your pattern. So you mirror the red like this. And after that, you mirror horizontally your pattern so let's do this and we get where is it yeah that's it and after that well we're done as i told you earlier in one of the uh, previous videos this we're not going to make any uh, very difficult calculations so um how we are we done well we start to count on the uh, top left we count one two three four from left to right, top to bottom, like when you write. And uh, when we are in a red square, we write the number. If we are in a blue square, a square, we don't write the number. So we write one, we don't write two, three, we write four, etc. And that's what it did. Uh, that's what we get. Then we start again, but this time from bottom right like here and we start to count one from bottom right one two three four and we go up etc etc so one two three four five six seven eight and we keep going up like this and each time we have a blue square then we fill it up and that's what we get and we're done we have a beautiful 4x4 four four magic square with a magic constant being equal, equal to uh, 34. And that's it. So let's do it again. Let's do it again with a k equals to 2. And uh, so an 8x8 eight eight magic square. So let's do this. Remember, we start with the top left quarter like this 
and we put a red uh, red square pat pattern remember we have to have k red square in each line and each column of the quarter so here here we can have this uh, easy uh, pattern like checker like you see in each line each column we have only two red square good we can uh, do other patterns like this one which is uh, interesting too you can check two red square in each line and each column or maybe we can do something like that yep. which is nice too another one and you know what we're gonna go with this one so we do this one and if you remember we uh, mirror it uh, vertically the vertical axis yep and then we mirror it with a horizontal axis like so yep and we're done we start top left to fill up like this so here I am um, I decided to uh, start with the blue because why not we can do that blue and red here don't make a lot of difference so I started to I'm gonna put the blue uh, from the top left and the red from the bottom right so top left first one two not three not four not five not six but seven and eight and we keep going like this and then from bottom right we start count one two no nope. and then four three four five six yes and we keep going like this and we have our magic square with uh, eight by eight and that's it that's the technique we have when you uh, want to make a magic square with uh, uh, the number of, row of rows and columns being equal to a multiple of four so hope you like this way of uh, doing it uh, when the magic square is very big of course you might want to program it instead of uh, doing it by hand but still the algorithm is not very difficult and it's quite of a, an easy programming so let's uh, let's see uh, now some two special 4x4 magic squares okay the first one is um, Rogers Bowley's magic square special square <laughs> special magic square yeah we got it you can find Rogers explaining his, his magic square in a, a number file video which I'm going to put the link somewhere and um, so here's this square uh, it doesn't look like, like much when you look at it the numbers are not uh, consecutive and um, well it's a magic square with a magic constant equal to 176 but already we have the center which is also equal to the magic constant okay cool and when it gets interesting and when it is uh, when you write the numbers like so because then you can mirror it and you get another a new square a new magic square with exactly the same uh, properties which means that the rows, the columns, diagonals and the center equal to 176 and you know what you can also put it upside down actually you can flip it upside down like this and also you can also flip it back so we're gonna, gonna stay down like this and still you're got, gonna get the same properties with 100 and 76 as a sum of the columns the diagonals the rows and the four squares at the center so this is a neat um, magic square and I really like it I re highly recommend you to check the number five video about it and uh, here's another one yeah uh, this one is very beautiful it's pen magic it's a 4x4 pen magic uh, square so we have of course the lines the columns and the main diagonals being equal to 34 but we also have this semi diagonal here and uh, that one and any actually semi diagonal 
being uh, equal to uh, 34. But that's not all because you have also this square that is equal to uh, 34. And actually any square, 2 by 2 square, you can find in there is also a magic square. You can wrap around like here, even go in a little bit high, higher and then we, you get the four corners wrapping around. They're actually uh, two by two squares. And also you can take a three by three square in there and uh, consider only the corners of the three by three uh, square and that makes 34. Unfortunately, this square cannot be um, adapted like uh, with the Rogers Bowles method to make it uh, work in a mirror a pattern or anything. It doesn't work. So that's it. That's the end of the part three of my uh, four part series. So in part four, we are going to finish to learn how to make some magic squares. Then you'll be able to make magic squares on, of any size at will. And uh, also we're going to discover another special magic square to uh, conclude uh, this little series. I hope you're going to enjoy this and um, see you next time. Bye bye.